But what's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and iPad OS 17 just recently announced today, or if you're watching this, probably like yesterday or something like that. But um, yeah, we got it, and we got the developer beta downloaded on this 12.9 M1 version of the iPad. And we're gonna be talking about not a full overview of the system itself because they didn't give us a whole lot. So I wanna kind of break down each different thing that they gave us and make it into little bite-sized videos. And then we're gonna do a full out iPad OS 17, you know, review, preview, whatever you wanna call it. But today, the main thing we're gonna be focusing on is this. So let's talk. So one thing we talked about from last year was actually bringing that home screen customization over from the iPhone to the iPad. And this year seems like Apple finally heard us. They listen and they have done this. So let's do a little quick preview of what you're going to be able to do with your iPad from now on with iPad OS 17. So when you come into your settings and you're going to just scroll down to wallpaper, this is the look that you're going to get now. Now you can actually customize your current wallpaper or you can flip between any of the ones that you already have available. I have a customized one, but let's just make a brand new one. So when you click on a new one, just like on the iPhone, it's going to bring up this set of wallpapers. Now what I have noticed is, and somebody, you know, leave a comment down below if you have seen something different, but the normal old school wallpapers that we have seem to be gone. And you are now left with the featured wallpapers, your suggested photos, weather and astronomy, kaleidoscope emoji, the unity wallpapers. You do have pride wallpapers, collections, and different colors on your wallpaper choices. Now, one of my favorites, this is what I like to see on my iPad wallpaper screen. But one of the best features is you can now change widgets. So you can add these widgets over here on the side. So let's say I wanna just add some basic things over here like battery status. You click it, it pops up. Also, we'll do the date over here and it pops up. And we're just gonna put a few over here, no medications. Let's see what we got. Um, how about weather? and we will put, let's put the whole forecast over there. All right, so one of my other favorites, Google. We'll just slap the search bar over there for Google. We'll come out of there, and then from this point, we will just, oh, if you don't like the blue, you can change it. So you can make it purple, blue, and that purple actually looks more blue. That's a real purple. So this is like a violet type purple. Then we got a real purple, lavender purple, pinkish hue. So you can just swap through the different colors, whatever you like, whatever your favorite color is, of course, my favorite. And then we will hit, oh, now let's talk about the fonts as well. Hit here, you can actually change these fonts. And since this is beta, there are like five or six different fonts, but since we're in beta, it's not even swapping it. And you can make it thick, thin, thick, thin, and it's a bunch of different colors. So we're gonna come back out and go back in just to see how this works. But uh, you can change the date and information up here as well. Any of these categories, you got different suggestions. You got your calendar, you got clocks you can put up there, Facebook, you can put birthdays of today up there for Facebook and Gmail, health, reminders, uh, structured, one of my favorite apps. We'll talk about it later on. Uh, timery, any time things that you got that you want up there, boom, put them up there, weather and YouTube music. So these are all the apps. There are certainly more apps that will work over in here. So you don't have to worry about the ones that I have, but I like the date and everything and day of the week. That's it, very simple. So we're gonna keep this just in the format that we have it. Like I said, you can change these up and it swaps between these two and you can make it thin and thick, thin and thick. I like rounded edges. And then you can change this to automatic light mode or dark mode, just like so. Whichever one you like, I like it in automatic. And then once you get done with that, you hit add and you select the pair and that is what you get. Now, let's say you come out of all of this and you just start up your iPad and you 
come here and it spells out hello and you get nice animations with just about every one of these wallpapers we'll go through a few of them just once again get the animations but if you want to go directly to google it's going to tell me to unlock this thing with my face and boom so these widgets are going to work directly from the lock screen which is a really good thing that we we like we like that a lot so now we're going to talk wallpapers if you want a different wallpaper this is what you'll do you'll come over in here and let's say you'll pick this this is showing your location there we go so you get all these cool little animations depending on which wallpaper you pick that's earth detail earth you got moon detail moon mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune and you can go whole solar system full-blown solar system if you want to cancel that and let's come back out unity swipe between the different colors and like i said each one of these has a bunch of different themes and different things that you can actually do um let's go to just plain colors so pick a color and you can swap between the color gradients so a lot of different things that you can do a lot of customization which you know it should have been there from the beginning but you know we'll take it when we can get it and you can zoom in and kaleidoscope these so a lot of different things for a lot of different people kaleidoscope swap between the colors different geometric shapes and patterns and let's see we did emoji and all of these are not going to show up like right away because like i said this is beta so you kind of gotta take everything with a grain of salt but as you click on them and it seems like there may be some so in collections in collections you can swap through the colors okay and then let's go back here nothing else and then here nothing else this is the one i've chosen this is the one i like out of the newest ones um but once again going back here and i want to customize this and it actually will here we go now you can see all the different fonts that you can go through so starting over different font number one number two number three lines in between make it thicker or make it really really thin swap it up make it thicker once again keep it about middle of the road boom just like that bam and you want to change your color there we go and when you change the color it changes the time date and everything up here as well as the widget color over here you can make that darker or you can make that lighter you can make it blue and you can even pick spectrum choose which color you want and you can even save that color or add that color right down here change it to red change it to whatever you want any of these colors any of those work no problems so as far as the customization of this whole setup goes i'm i'm liking it so far um once again this is in beta this is what we're using but from this point on it can only get better so we're going to be doing a video a day highlighting new key features of the new operating system and then after i play with the whole thing for about a week or so come back and i'll give you my full take on how this is going to affect you and if it's actually like a good update that apple gave us this time so hopefully this has been able to help someone out we're going to just make sure that we get the basics out of the way until next time average tech guy out peace